Nathan Heaney, that is three consecutive stoppages. I'll tell you, you're getting quite good at this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, Dev. I'm, I'm certainly in on the job. I know 14 fights, but normally 14 fights wouldn't really be seen as a, a massive depth of a fighter's career, but it's, it's, it's been mint so far. I've been enjoying every single one. And he, was, and he was a very awkward opponent, to be honest. The way he was doing all the little things here and there, he was moving all the time and wild looks. You, I didn't even think he knew what he was doing, so it's very hard for me to read it because he just wasn't, he's very unpredictable, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, it was good. This is a man who, correct me if I'm wrong, he messaged you on Instagram and told you that he was going to retire you. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, he, he, he did. I, I, I didn't actually click the message. I just saw it on the, on the little notification. He said he's going to retire me. But, but I knew he was gaming. I knew he wanted to, to obviously win. He wanted to win the title and stuff. And, and, and that's good because it's, it's pointless if they're just going to cover up and not do anything. But there was a couple of times he threw a shot and he called me and it was a bit stupid because Steve said, you know exactly what's coming. You know what's coming. It's that backhand or the left hook. There wasn't anything else in between, really. But yeah, he's, he was, um, he's very tough and he's, he's a good lad. He was a good lad. Wild lad, at least. A wild lad. Very wild. Look, there was times in there where he was goading you. I saw a Tyson Fury, Klitschko-esque hands behind the back, although yeah. he didn't go on to win yeah. the fight. Yeah. Um, what was going through your head when he was doing all these strange things? I was just thinking, I know I'm hurting him. I know I am. But he, but he, was, he, was, he was playing me. I was thinking, am I... Am I no, I'm definitely hitting. I know I'm hitting, but it was one of them. There was one I caught him with an uppercut. I think it might have been the fourth or fifth round in a proper hitting. But, but fair play to him, tough as nails. He just, he, he was like looking at his corner and thinking, does he want the towel we throw in here or what? He just, yeah, it was one of them. But, but he got me some good rounds. He got me breathing a bit in the fight and got me working. I think that was round seven when he said, I think. Yeah, so I got some good rounds out of it. But I still got the stoppage as well, which is which I'm happy with. Well, look, this, it feels like this is what you needed, right? Because you've been, like, well, certainly to me, you've been saying, look, Dev, I need to be stepped up, right? Yeah. These guys these guys are no good for me. Yeah. This is a bit of a step up. It was a title fight. Yeah. Do you feel as though things are heading the right way for you now? Yeah, definitely. It was, like I said to you before we did this, like, it's been a long year. Like, thinking back, it feels 10 years ago that we had the fight behind closed doors, but it was February, <laughs> and, we boxed four, and we boxed four times this year. So and it's all, obviously all the graft that you build up into each of these fights, and obviously, like, topping the bill tonight, a bit of pressure, like, I mean, but I, I, do, I, I do thrive on the pressure. It's just, I've got a certain game plan that I need to stick to. And, like, the worst thing I ever think when I'm boxing is, I hope people aren't bored when they're watching this, but you've got, I've got a thing I've got to stick to, and certain guys, you can't just go in there all guns blazing, because they'll soak it up, and then they'll get you back themselves so yeah it's one of them Mike you know what I mean? and what do you want to say about these ridiculous fans that you have I think it was 1700 of them tonight it might, it may even be more than that yeah. I mean over to you yeah they're just amazing thank you so much Stoke on Trends Kent people from, like I've got family from my uh, fiance side from Kent they come up every single time amazing people thank you very much mate thank, thank you and just just incredible people I just want to say thank you so much to every single person I even I went to a restaurant just around the corner for, some, for a little rap and there's some guys from Hull and they said are you Nathan I said yeah they said we've come all the way from Hull to watch you I was thinking brilliant they so they're coming from all over the place but, but it's only because Stoke on Trends are making such an amazing atmosphere how big can this get Nathan? As, as far as you want to take it, Devin, you and Frank, get the right fights, keep building us up, and, and I, it's going to grow each time. Like I say, I would love to be back in Stoke next year, early next year, at the King's Hall, a beautiful venue. It honestly be the greatest indoor atmosphere, like that size you've ever seen. It really would. You, you, you can imagine them in a small atmosphere. It would be incredible, but yeah. So. And what a way to end a year. I mean, you, you've had a, a new baby daughter this year as well. Yeah. You, the, the family's growing. I know you've been uh, spending time in the man cave yeah. away from yeah. it all. And I yeah. guess now you're back in the main bedroom, huh? Yeah, my missy said, you better be back in that bed tomorrow. I'm like, well, I am. There's nothing to be happening there, man. Like, don't but, but no, it's, um, but yeah, we've got a six-week week old baby. It's beautiful little Isabella. got a beautiful five-year-old daughter, Ava. And it's just amazing. It's just a lot of work, to be fair. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad considering all the circumstances lately. But, yeah. Mate, I'm going to let you go. Congratulations, Thank and uh, I can't wait till the next one. Thank you very much, Steph. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you.